Here's a bigger picture of my triangle. So in this question, what I try to do is find the non-shaded area here and here, and find the area of the whole triangle and then subtract it. Now we don't know any dimensions, but remember ultimately we'll just ask for the fraction. So I'm going to call this base B. And we're told that this is crucial. A point is marked one quarter of the way along, which means that this distance here is going to be three quarters B. Now the height of the triangle, I'm going to then call H. And here's the crucial bit in this question, right? This point is a quarter of the way along this length. So it must be that this is a quarter of the height. Because it's a constant gradient, it means I'm going along and up the same amount every time. So if I'm going in this direction a quarter uh, of the whole length, I must be going a quarter of the height at the same time. This is a quarter h. And now I can find the area of the big triangle. It's just going to be a half times base times height. But the area of the red triangle is going to equal a half times three quarters times the base times one quarter times the height. And actually, that is going to be three over sixteen times a half base times height. I'm going to I'm going to leave that in there because that is my original triangle. I could even, to be fair, call this A. And now I've shown that the red triangle is three sixteenths of A. Now the thing is, over here, there's exactly the same scenario going on. We've got um, you know, you could imagine, I'm just trying to think how you would draw the height in, but you can imagine kind of putting upside down and this then being the height and this being a, a quarter. And then this would be the base and this would be three quarters of the base. And it's going to be a different height to be fair and a different base but ultimately i'm still going to get three sixteenths of the area the green triangle arguing along similar lines is also going to equal three over 16 times a and that means the unshaded area is going to equal 6 over 16a, because I've just added them together, which is 3 over 8a. I've actually forgotten what we've been asked. What fraction of the area of the triangle is actually shaded? So the shaded area is going to be the, the whole area of the triangle minus 3 eighths a, 5 eighths a. What fraction is shaded? It's five eighths. Nice.